Welcome back, Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. Today we're taking a look at a new sub-ohm tank from AugVape called the Skynet. So this is a sub-ohm tank from AugVape. Let's dive down, take a look at it, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Alright, let's check out the Skynet sub-ohm tank by AugVape. When I got this, because it didn't come in one of those uh, normal AugVape packages, like they usually come in like this. Um, I didn't even realize it was Aug Vape, but it is. There you go. Aug Vape on the side, Aug Vape on all four sides. Uh, you got some information in the bottom there. All right. And uh, there is your sub ohm tank. Let's take a look at it. So we got a standard sub ohm tank with Aug Vape's name across the top. One, two, three airflow slots. Stiff turning on the airflow slots, which I actually like. Less chance of it moving around. You got your sort of clear mainly frosted 510 drip tip you got your twist to open juice fill ports in the top does come with the bubble glass already on open up the bottom and there is your included installed mesh coil and there is your base decently protruding 510 pin you will get an extra mesh coil. 0.15 ohms, rated 60 to 80 watts. You will get a straight glass. Let's get you some specs and then we'll go back up and talk about it. That's what I get for breathing vapor on my lens. So this is the Skynet tank from AugVape. Um, it's a nice sub-ohm tank. Uh, sub-ohm tanks are sub-ohm tanks. I really like this super thick drip tip that it comes with. Um, this thing does not get hot. What am I vaping this on right now? I think this is the max the coil is right. This coil goes up to 80, 80 watts, I think, and I'm vaping at 75 watts. This is the 0.16 ohm coil. Uh, I got some of one of my old favorites called I Love Cookies 2 in there, very sweet juice. Uh, it hasn't been gunking up these coils, uh, these coils have been lasting pretty good. Usually I go through coils pretty quick on those super sweet juices, uh, but this has been handling it nice. Um, it's a sub ohm tank, there's plenty of airflow. Plenty of airflow, you can close it down, you got three holes, you saw that all in the up close. Um, and it's been tasting great, everything about it's been working good. The top fill's been fine, stays on nice. Uh, it's a twist to open, not a slide to open. What are you going to say? It's a sub ohm tank and it's good. Flavor's still rocking on it, tasting great. Um, there's no cons to it. If you're looking for a sub ohm tank and you like the way this sucker looks, uh, you know, this may be for you. I do like that what they're starting to do is put the bubble glass on the tank in the package. No big deal, easy to change the glass, uh, but tanks always come with the straight glass on there and the bubble glass separately. And if you're like me, you're always putting on the bubble glass because why not get that extra juice capacity unless you just want it to look really good with whatever else you're using it with and you want straight lines. But I always throw the bubble glass on, I'd rather the extra juice capacity on there. So this comes with it already on and it's just one little extra pro. Um, and I'm just surprised the coils are actually doing really good with this super sweet juice uh, over an extended period of time, and I've been very happy with it. Uh, it is not getting hot, but you got that extra thick um, 510 uh, mouthpiece drip tip in there, and uh, that just helps keep the uh, tank even cooler. Plenty of clouds, plenty of flavor. Uh, it's doing a great job. Another win from AugVape. Um, their stuff is just usually always very good. I'm very happy with AugVape. Uh, great stuff. So there you go. That is the Skynet sub ohm tank from AugVape. Check out that video below down there somewhere, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.